Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jillian. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I have for you, it's going to be almost a full face of Wet n Wild except like one thing. Um, and we're gonna test out the new Lilo and Stitch collection. So this is the finished look that we came up with. So if you wanna see how we accomplish this look, please keep watching. Um, and let's go ahead and get into this full face of Wet n Wild with the Lilo and Stitch collection. Okay, so like I said, I am super, super excited for this collection. I ordered it the same day it came out because this was one of my favorite movies going up. Um, and so I thought we would just pair it with all the other things that I have from Wet n Wild. Um, I think there's, there's only one thing that I did not have from Wet n Wild that I'll have to use a different brand, but it is brand new. Okay, so you have like the eyeshadow palette, which just looks beautiful. You have the face palette, which is a, um, it looks like bronzer and highlight palette. And then you have three of the lip oils, which I love lip oils. I'll swatch all of them. I won't use all of them, but I'll swatch all of them. And then um, you have the mascara, the eyeliners, the body scrub, the um, sponge, the glow, and then um, the setting spray. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna go wet it because I forgot that this was in here and I wet another sponge. So I'm gonna go wet this one. Okay, so I got the sponge wet um, and it does come with like a little surfboard to hold the sponge, which I just think is the cutest with stitch on there. And this is what the eyeshadow looks like, the palette. So you have your blues, you have some pinks, and then you have like some yellows. I think we're gonna go in with the pinks today. It's not gonna match my purple shirt, but that's just what I'm drawn to. And it does have some really nice transi transition shades in here. So I am very excited. I'm gonna go in with my brush and just start with a transition shade. This shade up here, um, I think it's Pudge. Okay. And I'm just, this is just what I'm using. I did um, prime my eyelids. I did not have a Wet n Wild eye primer, so I just used um, the Fenty one. But I think that's the only thing, well, besides the one other thing that I um, just don't have. So two things that I didn't have, but from Wet n Wild, but I think everything else is. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go to the shade one over. Um, and I think that one's laid back. And I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit. It doesn't come with a mirror, um, so I'm just using my mirror off to the side. Um, but so far, these shades are blending really nicely. I'm gonna try to get in some of the deeper shades here and see if it's the same. I'm going to start deepening it up. So I'm going to go in with this shade down here. Um, let's see, what is this one called? The Badness Level. I think this one's Badness Level. Okay, so far I'm really liking this. I'm going to add in the pink now. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I think this one is Lilo. And I'm just going to start on the outer corner and then I will bring it in a little bit to add that pink in there so it's almost like a like a sunrise type look. I've seen a lot of people do this palette but I've only seen them use the blues so I'm trying to do the things besides the blues but the blues look beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to use this shade right here, which I believe is Model Citizen. And I'm just gonna use my finger to do this because it looks like more of a shimmery type shade. I'm not getting a whole lot on my finger, so let me... Okay, so let's see here. Okay, really pretty shade blends in nicely with the look. I do think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Be Wild. And I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit and put it in the center of my eye. Oh, 
um, to pull it all. Okay, I lied. I'm going to put it all over to really pull it all together. But that, so far, that's what we came up with. I'm liking that so far. Okay. I'm going to do that same thing to the other eye. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed with these shades here. I'm excited to dip into some of the other shades, um, but this looks really, really pretty, and I'm I'm excited to play with it more, and I'm excited to have this. Okay, so they sent um, two eyeliners with it, so I have the black and the blue, and I think since I didn't use the blue shadows, I'm gonna go with the black. I think this is black anyways. Let me double check. Yeah, Wild Energy Black is what that one looks like. And so I think we're gonna go in with that one. I'll swatch the blue one here so you know what, you can see what that one looks like. So really like an electric blue, let me see what the exact shade is. Blue Punch Buggy, Blue Punch Buggy is the name of it. All right, so I got the line, I just did the tight line, and now we'll go in with the mascara. So this is the Wet n Wild, the Flying High Waterproof Mascara. Um, and I have seen really good things about this, so I hope I hope it's as good as they say. But this is what the brush looks like. I'm just gonna grab my mirror. It's really separating my lashes, which is nice. Okay, that is after one coat. And I'm gonna go in with a second coat. Okay, that is after two coats. I really, really like it. Um, it's definitely not as volumizing as I'm used to, but it is pretty like lengthening. Um, it is a really dark shade, um, a really good black, and then um, it does separate really well. So I like all of those things. Okay, so for face primer, we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. Um, if you've watched any of my videos when I've used this, you know I have a love-hate relationship with this primer. I absolutely love it, but I hate the packaging. It just, it comes out so like abruptly sometimes because it gets so much air in there. And then it just sits like a like a little thing like right here and it just rolls around and it, I don't know. It's just not the easiest to work with because of the packaging. They need to change the packaging, but that might make it more expensive. So I get that. All right, so I got the primer on, um, and now we'll go on foundations. I grabbed out all three just so you could see them, but I do have, I have the Tinted Hydrator in the shade Fair that is, I love, love, love this. Um, I have the Dewy in the shade um, Shell Ivory, which is also one that I really, really love. And then I have the Matte, or the original, Photo Focus, both those are the Photo Focus in the shade um, Porcelain. And so I thought I would go in with the one that I think matches me the best right now, which would be probably the Dewy, um, which is the Shell Ivory. So I'm just gonna put some on my face. I love all three of these foundations. They, Their foundations are so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend it out with a brush and then go over it with my stitch sponge. Okay, so this is what that foundation looks like. Like I said, I love all three of them. I use all three of them. Um, they're all really, really good. This one is just the dewy one because I think it, it's got a pinker undertone or a cooler undertone, which is kind of what I need right now. For concealer, we're gonna go with the Wet n Wild Incognito all day full coverage concealer. I love this concealer. It is such a good concealer and I have it in the shade Fair. Um, this is a, yeah, this is a really good concealer. I've used this quite a bit. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my brush to blend it out and then I'll go over it with the sponge. All right, got that blended out. Such a good concealer. I just love it. Um, okay, so now we'll go into the cream products that I have. So I have the cream bronzer and it is in the shade um, Oaks On You. 
is the shade that I have. It's really, really pretty. I do like this one a lot. Um, I think that it looks really nicely. And I'm just going to use it to bronze up the face a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my the Fenty brush to go over it. That was the only thing I didn't get. I didn't realize it wasn't part of the packaging is the 626 brushes that came out with it. I didn't realize it wasn't part of like the whole set. I thought it would, I thought it was included. Otherwise I would have bought that too. It was kind of expensive though. It was like $17 for three brushes. So that is a little, a lot, quite a bit actually. Okay, so now for the next thing, and this is the thing that I don't have in um, uh, Wet n Wild. I, I thought I did. It's a cream blush. So I thought we would go in with the new e.l.f. Luminous um, Putty Blush. And I have this shade Bermuda. Um, I don't know. I thought I had like the stick, but I don't know what I did with it. But it's just a really, really like luminous, pretty shade. Um, I like the other putty blush. So, and then I'm just going to use the putty primer applicator because the putty blush brush is upstairs. And we'll just give some color back to our cheeks. It is really pretty. It was hard to decide the color. I wanted to get all of them. I, um, I think there was like seven total on the e.l.f. app and then um, three on the Ulta Beauty site, if I remember correctly. But I do really, really like this. I think this is pretty. I mean, you can see the luminosity that it gives. So I, I really, really like it. So for setting spray, we're going to use the Wet n Wild No Bad Days Stitch Hydrating Setting Mist. Um, and oh, so I think the oil um, one leaked a little bit in the box. And it was next to this, so I think there's a little bit of oil on this. I'm just trying to get it wiped off. Check the sprayer on this. Okay, pretty nice mist. Smells like a coconutty sunscreen. It almost, mm -mm. it gives me like Sol de Janeiro vibes is what it gives me. All right, yeah, Sol de Janeiro vibes. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take my stitch sponge and press that in and it also go over the bronzer and the blush at the same time to really help melt all of that into the skin before I set my face. All right, I'm gonna set my face. Um, I am going to use the Photo Focus um, Banana Powder. I Thought I had a regular powder too, but. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna smell like that all day and I don't mind it. That smells so good. The setting spray. Okay, I'm just gonna press this under my eyes and then I'll use a brush to go over the rest of my face with it. And I like that the packaging is huge on it. So you can easily get like a powder brush in there. All right, so now we are on to the face palette. Well, part of the face palette. We're gonna use the bronzers out of here. And then there weren't any blushes, but I do have some like powder blushes that I thought we could use. I have quite a few of them. I think they're, the ones that I pulled out are limited edition ones, but I think I have all of the, them. I think I have some regular ones that are not, like in the circle pan. They remind, they look like the e.l.f. ones, the e.l.f. putty infused, the putty primer ones. Okay. Okay, so you have the two bronzer shades and then the two highlighter shades. I think we're gonna mix both of the bronzers together and then we'll use this highlighter shade after we do the blush. But I think I'm just gonna mix them both together. Just take a little bit of both. 
I mean, this is the Lilo and Stitch collection, so we can look bronzed, really bronzed up here. Or maybe that's just me. I would love to go to Hawaii. That's one of the places that we haven't been that I would love to go, maybe one day. Okay, got that done. Like I said, I mixed both of them together when I initially went in and then I went back over everything with just the lighter shade to get it all blended out nicely. And then for blush, so I have the My Cherry Amour. I have the ones and then I have the two from Saved by the Bell. I have the It's All Right and the um, Nerd Alert one. And I think we're going to go in with the... Which one? Let's go in. I haven't actually used this one yet. So let's go in with this one and use that pink shade. The um, You Macho Pig is the shade, this one right here. So we'll go in with that one. I think I've only swatched it. I don't think I've actually used it, but it looks really pretty. And we'll just add some pinkness back to the cheeks that I have there naturally anyways. That's really pretty. I should use that more. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in to the, let's see here, the Lilo and Stitch palette, and we're going to highlight. We're gonna use this one right here. And I was seeing if they had names. I don't see names on them. But there is a little bit of glitter in this, so I would assume that it is going to be a pretty blinding highlighter. I am trying to use a more diffused brush on it. Okay, and we're going to use that same shade to do the brow bone and the inner corner. Okay, so I went ahead and did my lower lash line. I just put in this shade right here laid back and then I did the mascara as well when I was doing um, like the inner corner and everything. So, okay, so then I thought We'll do, let's go in with the lips and then I'll show the scrub and the glitter spray. So you have three different shades here. All right, so you have this red one here that is called Let's Rock. And it's like a red, pinky red. And then you have, let's see what's this one here is Got the Scoop is this one. And this is like a pinky purple shade. And I think that's the one we're going to use. And then this last one is like an opal essence. Like there's a purple green to it. And it is called Surf's Up. And we'll just put this one right here. And this one is just, it's like a clear, but it's got some like, like opal essence in there that just kind of changes the colors. I'm going to go in with the pink one, I think. And possibly put the other one over it. We'll see. But these are, these are just lip oils. Which are really hydrating. Mm, that was really, really easy to put on. They don't smell the greatest, but I don't care. I think they're supposed to smell like tropical, and they do but I can't tell like what it smells like. Okay, so I just mix the pink and the clear shade. I'm gonna wipe off the brush of the clear shade so it doesn't have any pink on it um, before I put it back in the tube. All right, so this is our finished look, but I wanted to show you what the lip scrub or what the body scrub looks like too. So this is the body scrub and it just says life's a beach on it. And let's see here. It does come with like the cutest little scoop. And it very much smells like coconutty, pineapple-y, tropical, but that's what it looks like. I'll put it up in my shower. I think I'm actually almost done with one of my tree hut ones. So I might put this guy in there instead of my other tree hut ones. 
Okay, and then this is the, let's see, what is this? The Body Luminizer, and it says Shake Me, so I'm gonna shake it. And I think this is the one that leaked a little bit, the oil came out um, on the side a little bit, which is fine, I mean, it happens. Okay, but yeah, there's definitely some oil leaking out of it, so I'm just gonna wipe it, get it all wiped off here. I mean, it smells good, so that's a positive. Oh, uh, I think it's the packaging. It looks like, it depends on like how it's stored, because it has like the little, well, I'll show you. Okay, because it has like the little opening at the top, so I think just it was stored on its side, and if this top part was stored down, I'm guessing, broke it, there it is. Okay, it took a little bit, so. Just gonna put it on the back of this hand so it's like a bronzy body luminizer you could almost use it as a liquid highlighter um except it is quite oily so i i personally would not put it on my face but if you like that style of highlighter you might like it but i like it it's a really it's really pretty smells very tropical very much like the beach and everything but all right, so that is everything with the Lilo and Stitch collection, along with um, almost a full face of Wet n Wild. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.